Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Today, I have the pleasure of reviewing the latest Yeezy 350 V2 in the Israfil colorway. Check it out. All right, as you can see, we've got a 350 V2 box, boost on the front, 350 on the top. The box is a little beat up because it came a long ways. Sizing details, I went with the nine and a half, and it does have a BASF sticker because this is a UA early pair. If you wanna learn more about UA, make sure to check out my Cinder Reflective video where I go a lot more in depth with all of that. Without further ado, let's crack it open, get a good look at these. Whoa! Oh, straight heat in this box. Wow. So since they're UA, they come packaged differently. They come in plastic. And before I crack this open, I wanna point out that these do come with extra laces that match the shoe. And we'll get into that here in a minute. All right, these things look super dope. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm impressed. The Israfil is better in person, obviously. Let's get a better look. All right, so first impression, I gotta admit, I'm kind of blown away by the Isra feel. The color is so unique and new, and it kind of reminds me of denim, you know, acid washed jeans, and this sort of orange yellow is sort of when you apply too much bleach to some jeans and they start to yellow over time. So this is just really unique, better in person. You know, I say that a lot, but I mean it every time. These do not disappoint. I'm impressed thoroughly. So this Israfil colorway is set to release in August and it sits right between the Zion and Azriel colorways, set to release later this year. Now the colorway itself reminded me a little bit at first glance of the inverted version of the linens where it had that tan upper with the blue stripe and here you have blue upper with the tan stripe but upon closer look it's not quite the same shade of blue um, but it's still kind of cool and inverted and re reminiscing of that. Now I am very excited to share a lot of the new quirks and features about this shoe. Some of these are shared with the Zion colorway, but we're gonna go over all of them. So let's get into it. So the first feature you can see right off the bat looking at the shoe is that new Infinity lacing system. And it looks really good in person. I was a little skeptical when I first saw photos, but I like it. And it's got a nice length to the laces, you know, because it's already pre-chosen for you. But I think it's nice, it's loose enough and it's just a clean look. You don't have to bother with all the extra lace slack or what to do with it. Now those extra laces that do come with this shoe are in a little envelope here. And when you open that, they are full size 350 V2 laces and they match the laces that come with the shoe already. But if you decide to put these on, you're gonna have to take a pair of scissors to the Infinity laces and there's no coming back from that. The second thing I noticed very well about the shoe is that new static pattern. It's definitely different. You've got more patches of different pattern and especially this little upper here uh, on the mid cage. It kind of reminds me of uh, the cage on, let's say like a pair of Ultra Boosts actually. So it's kind of new. I like it. It's refreshing for a pair of 350 V2s. Of course, people are getting burnt out on those and Yeezy is finding a way to revamp it, throw a little fresh spin on it. I'm all about it. Another new quirk of the shoe is that new stitching pattern on the upper. This will be now the fourth different stitching pattern on Yeezy 350 V2s. So they keep switching it up. I kind of like it. It gives all these colorways a bit of a new flair. And this one's nice and smooth the colors of the stitching match the upper of the shoe, and I think it's a clean look. Now the Israfil colorway features that midsole that is translucent and comes in the same shade of bluish gray as the upper, so it reveals the boost that is underneath 
and flipping the shoe over, that outsole is the same tannish color that matches the stripe on the upper, which I really like. It's a good combination, and it wraps around the heel of the shoe in normal 350 V2 fashion. I will mention this UA pair has that BASF boost that is authentic, so these feel amazing. It's also worth noting that this colorway has no pull tab among many other new colorways. I think it looks really good. It's a clean look. There are colorways that I do prefer with the pull tab, but to me, it's not a make or break factor. It just looks really clean, so I like it. Removing the insole reveals a nice tan gray shade and it matches the laces and the upper knit pattern that is meshed with that bluish gray. It looks really good and crispy, and you've got that Adidas and Yeezy badging on there. And wrapping up the details, we've got the Adidas three stripes on the inside of the heel, and they are 3M reflective. Here's an extra shot of the inside shoe tag, in case you want to check what that looks like on the inside of this pair. All right, so when it comes to comfort, as always, I rate the Yeezy 350 V2s a solid 9 out of 10 for all day wear. Uh, that full length boost midsole is super comfortable and there's just no denying it, nine out of 10. When it comes to sizing on Yeezy 350 V2s, I always recommend going up half a size than your usual size. Uh, the upper is a little stretchy, but it can feel a little tight around the toes, whether you tie up the laces or not, so a half size up is a safe way to go. So, you'll love the way the Israfil colorway looks, you're reaching for your wallet, you can't wait for that release date, the price point is going to be that usual $220. And I'm gonna go ahead and predict that the resale on these is definitely gonna go up because once people get them in hand, uh, they're gonna realize how dope this colorway is. And once more information comes out, I think a lot of people are gonna have these in their top threes, top fives, like it is for me. It's definitely one of my favorite colorways of all year, maybe of all time, for sure. So in conclusion, let me know. Leave some comments below. What do you think about the Israfil colorway? Personally, I said before, uh, it's one of my new favorite colorways. It's just very unique. I really dig it. Let me know what you think about that new upper prime knit pattern that's a bit new. I think it's cool, you know, a little pop of something new, can't hurt. What do you think about these infinity laces? Do you think they're practical? Are you bummed out that you have to cut them off if you want a lace swap? Personally, I'm not mad about it. I think it's a cool new direction that they're going in and I'll just keep them on here as is. And of course, let me know if there are any other future colorways you're looking forward to. And if you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate if you thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And in the meantime, I'll catch you on the next one.